you deleted your YouTube channel. You make another Queenie account. You go on your alt account because you're trying to tell everyone that you deleted your main account and it's totally gone. But you didn't. You just hid your main account and you've been lying this whole time. Kind of like you've been lying about your stupid fucking convoy and your stupid fucking, what was it, rally for the children or whatever the fuck you're talking about, Queenie. Queenie, you know what your problem is? This is a problem with a lot of people. When the convoys, the Canadian convoy and the American convoy were going on, you want to know what? You were nowhere to be found. You were sitting on your fucking couch. And after you've seen everything that transpired through all of it, you wanted a piece of that pie. Just like everyone else, you want a piece. You want to be something. You want to be something, like... I don't know. But I get what you're doing, Queenie. I totally get what the fuck you're doing. And you need to stop. Just like Mags American. Just like the Freedom Outlaws. Just like 76. It all needs to stop. We all know it's just about money. That's all it's ever been about is money and things that you can get gifted to you. You don't give a fuck about anyone's freedom. Hey, D. You should really stop saying fuck around and find out, by the way, and putting out shorts about that, because... Honestly, D, you know the mention of fuck around and find out. Because, D, so you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spill the beans and I'm not gonna fucking spill the tea. I'm telling you right now, D, there's some. You're involved just as much as Mags and Santa and the rest of them. And I don't give a fuck if you're a freedom ally. I don't give a fuck about anything. Remember, you're 76, right, D? The big part of 76, the big fire truck guy, the we the people guy, right? We the people guy, huh? Big D. Little D, I should say. Because, D, honestly, dude, if I was your size and I hit someone my size, I swear to God, I would have took your head off your shoulders, but you didn't even leave a red mark. Like, I literally, we literally have the footage of you didn't leave a red mark on my face. Like, we literally went from the fucking. From Hagerstown to the pilot and put out a short and showed my face. There wasn't even a red mark. So, dude, tr trust me, you keep running your mouth acting like you're so big and bad, but you're just a fucking pussy, bro. You're a big pussy that doesn't even know how to throw a fucking punch. Trust me, my little, my little 170-pound ass will hit you so motherfucking hard, you, your head will be motherfucking spinning, and I guarantee you, there'll be broken bones. Well, you hit me with everything you had, and the only reason why you took me down was because I was standing next to a cooler, and I never even saw you punch me. You sucker punched me. But you didn't even hit me when I was looking. Tough guy, right? Real fucking tough guy. Real tough guy. Hey, Tommy, how's your wife today after she's figured out that you've been sucking little kid dick? How's your wife today? How's your wife today when, you've been, when she found out that you've been sucking on dick that's 20 years younger than you? How's it feel, Tommy, huh? <laughs> hey, was that a good conversation? Did you tell your wife that it was just, oh no, it's just the trolls lying. Is that what you told your wife, Tommy? Huh? Fucking weirdo.